Hey, what's going on, TikTok? It's your boy, Brother Leon. It's the last one. The one thing that I want you to understand is this, is that some of you are sitting under pastors that are sellouts. They're not going to straight up tell you they are a sellout, but you have to be aware of what they are vocal about. You have to be aware of what they're silent on, and you also have to be aware of what they're willing to fight for. Because a lot of pastors, they'll fight against abortion, they'll fight against the Democrats, they'll fight against the Republicans, but are they going to fight to free you from the system of racism and also tell you about it and bring in people that can not only show you the history, but also give you solutions? Because the solution that has been given to us is reconciliation and individualism. And also they have told you in not so many words to don't focus on the past, focus on the future. When Jesus comes back, then all of this is going to be done away with. But the crazy thing is, is that what do you do in the meantime? We have been waiting on Christ to come back forever. And the crazy thing is, is that they can't make it make sense. They can't make it make sense when the writings are of Paul are more or less servants obey your master and that is what we got and that is what we hold on to but that is what they skip over and so i'm telling you right now some of you are sitting under sellouts some of you are sitting under people who will never say anything about racism and prejudice they will never say anything about that devil and demon that still sits in the church but they'll prophesy to you They'll give you a word. They'll prophesy to the nations. They'll put their spiritual hands in your pocket and you'll give it to them. But you won't be free because religion is meant to control you, to make you forget. And I am of the persuasion that no, I'm not forgetting and I'm not forgiving. Because at the end of the day, there's a whole lot of men of God that know. And at the end of the day, you can sit up here and tell me that I need to be peaceful and, and all that type of rigmarole. No, we need deliverance. The church needs to repent. And so at the end of the day, I'm telling you people to watch out because some of you are sitting under sellouts and they've been selling you out and sending your money overseas to help out people that don't even look like you and giving it to organizations that don't even have your best interests. This is where your tithes and offerings are going when you give to that pastor. So I'm telling you, man, free yourself from the sellout. Peace.